Well, Chris, we know what happened last time. It's a totally new fight, your new trainer, all that business. But I just want to know, firstly, what was said? Liam very revved up in the head-to-head. -head. What was he saying to you? He's trying to get under my skin. He's talking about uh, which punches he wants me to hit him with and, uh, you know, all of that jazz. <laughs> That's one thing I haven't really paid too much attention to in this build-up. Before, in the fight, in the first fight, it was, you know, it was, uh, there was some theatrics, there was some fun, there was some uh, hype. Yeah, yeah. You know, in this one, I've kind of just kept to myself. Been in Vegas, been in the desert, grafting. Um, and yeah, the talk is done. The talk is cheap now. There's not really much I can say. I have to go and do. Chris, Chris, you were speaking to Kala earlier and we were speaking to Mo Mac earlier and both of them said they've seen a different you in the sense where obviously Mo Mac has only been a short space of time and he's not trying to change too much but correct mistakes. Kala said he just couldn't believe he was on there. It's almost a lonely figure because you took yourself away and sort of, I don't want to say brought back the old you because you've always been an unbelievably hard trainer. Do you wish you would have gone out there sooner and linked up with Bo Mac, or would you have to be your time with Roy? Um, listen, I, I appreciate everything that me and Roy did. Yeah. Um, it just, you know, it just didn't work out this time. Um, and, but I'm happy with how things turned out. You know, this camp has been an amazing camp. Uh, Bo Mac and his team are exceptional. You know, they really know what they're doing, and they are. They're passionate. And they care, and they and they are qualified. You know, these guys are. You know, they they, they train one of the pound for pound best right now. So you, you can't second guess anything they're telling you. You know, that was a big thing for me. Is you know, I, I have trust issues in the sport. There's a lot of pretenders. There's a lot of fakes. There's a lot of uh, phonies here that try and you know, they try and talk like they know what they're talking about, but they actually don't. These guys do. So. Uh, very confident. You are very confident, you can see that, and, and, and again, we, we're all predicting what's going to happen. I mean, can you give us any insight into how you visualized your hand, hand being raised, how it's going to work out? I mean, listen, any fire, any fire who's visualizing a win visualizes, you know, a knockout, a stoppage, a great performance, a dominant, a dominant performance. That's all I'm visualizing, going out there, stopping this guy within 12 rounds. Um, but first and foremost is getting that win. First and foremost is is executing the game plan, um, being you know in, enforcing my will, not letting him get away with the things that he got away with in the last fight. All these things come into play. Chris, very finally from me, just away from the fight, and I think huge admiration from so many people. The overlap to Gary Neville. You talk about a lot of things and it was an emotional watch, it was an emotional watch. Near the fight that coming out, do you think that helped? Do you think it helped talking about the things you did? No. No, no there's no help. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, those type of therapeutic or yes. uh, sessions or those type of releases, yes. that doesn't affect your performance. Um, well, it doesn't for me anyway. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Um, no, it doesn't help, but... Sometimes you've got to you've got to express yourself. You've got to let let the people yeah. know who you are as a man. Yeah. Um, a lot of guys they don't know how to talk or they don't know how to open up. That was probably me at a stage in my career. Yeah. I didn't want to you know, talk about stuff like that. Now as an adult, um, it's easier. Yeah. It's easier to let people know that you're you're actually a human being. Um, but yeah. It's fight time, baby. We don't yeah. want any of that mushy stuff no, anymore. Of course it's good. <laughs> All the best.